Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in Kitchen, I wanna show you how to make a 15 minute butter garlic roasted salmon filet that you can put on the table in no time at all and it's absolutely delicious. And the best part is there's like no cleanup at all because I bake it in foil, it's awesome. So I'm gonna run you through the ingredients. You'll need some fresh salmon or some salmon filets. And then to top your salmon filets, all you need is just some chopped garlic and parsley. I just uh, pulsed this in my little mini, food, little mini food chopper. A little bit of butter that's been melted. You need some lemon zest and juice and you need some salt and pepper. That's it, but I promise you it makes for a phenomenal dish that like I said, comes together in like 10 minutes. I've got my oven preheated to 400. Now to my uh, parsley and my garlic, I'm gonna add my butter. This is such a good recipe and you can really use it on any fish that you like. I just really happen to like it on salmon. But like I said, any fish you like, will do and you just need a little bit of zest not too much because you don't want it to be like overpowering and then you just need a little bit of lemon juice maybe i would say half a teaspoon a teaspoon depending on how much lemon you like a little bit in there oh if a pip goes in there do not panic because you'll see it on the salmon and you can always get rid of it before you dig in and then just season it with a good pinch of salt couple grindings of pepper give that a stir around and it kind of like makes this gorgeous sauce that mixes with the juices from the salmon it's just fabulous now for the salmon make sure that you cut enough foil so that it kind of comes up the sides on all four sides and then all I do which I am certain this is not the proper way to do it but you know I live by my own rules. <laughs> I don't really pay much attention to anything else. I kind of just spread this mixture over the top like so. And you know that's gonna be good. I mean, look at all that gorgeousness. And then I just make a little package like that. And seal the sides. And that is it. That is your dinner ready. Now you can do this for two people, four people, six people, eight people, doesn't matter. You're just gonna need to keep it in the oven a few minutes longer, the more fillets you put on there. Or if you wanna do a whole big, beautiful fillet, um, like a whole fillet, that would be fantastic for a dinner party. But for me, 10 minutes in a hot oven and I've got dinner ready. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it comes out. Look at that. Oh, that only cooked for 10 minutes and that was, that, that's it. And it looks amazing. Oh, I'm just gonna take one of these. Oh, it smells so good too. And how easy was that? It makes a great sauce. It takes no time at all. Now I'm serving it with my quinoa salad, which I have a recipe on my website which you can you can check it out if you want to. You don't have to serve it with this. But something else too that I wanted to mention when it comes to making weeknight meals, which this would be such a lovely weeknight meal, it's like simple and easy and delicious and good for you and full of flavor. Mm, that is so good, it's insane. What you might wanna do if you have a really busy schedule, do what I do. I always like to cook a bunch of quinoa or brown rice or lentils or beans or any kind of, I actually usually tend to have a couple different grains already cooked in the fridge and then have a bunch of veggies on hand so that you are always ready with a side dish, with a starch, and that way you only have to worry about one thing. Like tonight, for example, you have 10 minutes to devote to making a wonderful piece of salmon and you already have all the fixings in the fridge to make a wonderful quinoa salad and now you have a great meal on the table in no time at all. So play around with that idea. I think it comes in handy on a little bit more of the sauce. <laughs> It's so good. Go to laurainthekitchen.com to get the written recipe. Make a big filet of it for a dinner party. You will be the talk of the town. I'm telling you, it is to die for. Mmm. laurainthekitchen.com has the recipe ready for you. When you're spending time with me, I'll see you next time. Mmm.